Hi everyone. I'm Emily. We moved into our house at the end of last year. With some renovation work and lots and lots of love, we plan to transform this house into our dream home. We are taking the plunge and adding walls, taking walls down, painting, you name it, we're doing it. I can't believe we're embarking on this renovation journey and there's not going to be a room that we don't alter. We're living through the work and at times it's going to be chaos, but I'm sharing the whole journey with you. So I'll share the highs, the lows, the decisions, there'll be plenty plenty of them to be made. The surprises, it's all going to be in this renovation series. So come along on the journey with us. Hello, welcome to another renovation video. Cookie is up here to say hi to. Today we're in the study, so let's jump straight in. This is a room before we moved in. In the first few weeks of moving in, this room was piled high with moving boxes. Now it's time to make it into a proper study. So currently in the study, I've moved the furniture. I've popped dust sheets over everything. <laughs> so I've got dust sheet over the TV, the piano, the chair, the desk, the bookcase, the printers there and tables. And I'm going to paint the ceiling. So you might be thinking, oh my goodness, what happened here? We stepped through the ceiling in the room above. So it had a huge hole. So when the plasterers came for another room, they filled that in. So obviously I need to sand it and paint the ceiling and the ceiling could do a paint anyway. Um, also gonna paint the walls in here. There's not a huge amount of work to be done in this room, just painting, changing the floor more than anything. But I did find that paint is starting to peel off this wall. Um, and then when I start to sand it, more paint comes off. So it's not gonna be quite as simple as just painting the walls. Also got some on the ceiling as well. So like up there, I'm gonna to have to sand that and see what happens. Not quite sure why that's happened. Maybe the walls weren't primed properly before they were painted. Yeah, not sure. Also, we are aware of the state of the carpet. It was one of the rooms that we didn't tear the carpet up as soon as we moved in because we put all the boxes in this room. Um, so now we're doing this room, we're gonna sand the walls, paint the walls, paint the ceiling and change the carpet for sure. And it's concrete underneath here, so we're just gonna work out what we need to do before we can put some, you know, like hardwood flooring down. I don't know whether that's gonna be laminate or sticky planks or what we're gonna do, but see concrete underneath, so you need to figure that one out as well. There's lots of things to figure out as we go along. <laughs> It's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight. So we're in a place now where the room is all prepped. It takes so long to do prep work. Drives me crazy because it's like you spend probably four hours doing prep work and you're like, oh, it just takes so long. Um, but obviously it's necessary because then it makes your life so much easier when it actually comes to painting. And hopefully now we'll kind of see more of an instant result and it will be a lot faster this, this end. So I've sanded all the skirting down, covered things over. I think we're gonna change those. So I'm not gonna cover them over because I don't like the shiny silver. That's been sanded. The holes I filled in, they've been sanded and this one's been refilled as well. There's one down here at the bottom as well that's been refilled. So everything's covered over. I'm going to paint the ceiling on this half of the room first and then 
see if I can just kind of like lean over and paint that side, but I might have to move the furniture across. We'll see how we get on. Does anyone else hate prep work? It's kind of like essential, but not fun. Anyway, now we get on to the fun part. Painting. I switched the light on so I could see better, but then I was staring directly at the light, so I had to switch the light off. It was definitely not fun looking up. It's now the next day and we are moving on to painting the walls. This colour is called Skimming Stone and it's Farrell and Ball paint. I love this part. I love it when you put the first brush of paint on the walls and you can see the contrast of colour. What do you think so far? What's your initial thoughts on the colour? It's darker than the colour that's there currently, but I think it's going to make the room feel warmer. Next time I think I'll take the TV off the wall though, that would have made it easier. I did not want paint in my hair. How's it looking? <laughs> At this point, I feel like I'm guaranteed to get paint somewhere I shouldn't. I actually quite like painting around the edge at the bottom. I actually find it quite relaxing. Helps that we're painting the skirt in the same color as the walls, so I don't need to be extra careful. The part at the top is the trickiest where the ceiling meets the wall. You know what I mean? When you have to have an ultra steady hand so you get a nice neat line. There's three switches in this room, one for the main room, one for the bathroom, and the top one is for the extractor fan. The previous owners used this room as a bedroom with ensuite slash wet room. We're going to be using it as a study and the wet room as a bathroom. Hi, I'll show you where we're up to so far. So the ceiling took three coats of paint. Um, that was quite a lot of paint. <laughs> just because, I've, oh, I just realized I still got the spotlights out as well. Let me show you, <laughs> oh my goodness. Look, just because there was, um, obviously in the corner was plastered. So that took probably three. The rest of the ceiling took two with a little bit of touch up in places. 
looks like I missed a bit there, but I think it's the light. Um, I'll go have a look in a minute and then we just pop the spotlights down so I don't get paint on them. And then we'll pop those back up. Although when I was painting, I did get some, look, some on the ceiling. I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> so now I've got to touch that up and it'll probably take three, four coats because it's dark, obviously. Um, the walls have had two coats of paint done all the way around the edges at the bottom and around the windowsill and around the blind, but I haven't done the top yet. And that's a bit I really don't like, so I'm putting it off and I probably should have just done that first because then it probably would have blended in better and would have been easier, but I didn't. So we're not putting coving in this room, so I do need to do the edge. Look, you can see. I'm gonna put tape around the ceiling and hopefully it doesn't pull too much of it off. So I'm using frog tape, but I still find that sometimes it pulls it off. So I also brought the thick stuff by mistake. I wanted the thin stuff. So maybe I'll go out and buy some thin stuff or maybe I'll cut it or maybe I'll just cover. So I'll feel later. So all oh, fringes drive me crazy. So I'm gonna put tape around the ceiling, going to paint the top of the walls, and then the skirting and door frames need a second coat of paint. Not sure what to do with the cupboards because now we've painted the walls, they look really orangey. I like I don't love it. Also trying out these handles. So these are the ones that came like with here when we moved in and then trying out these ones. What do you think? So I think we might sand this. You can also see where the handles have been. Sand this and paint it the same color as the wall. So it kind of like blends more. But yeah, what do you think to handles? Should we go with those? Should we go with different ones? Yeah, that cupboard's actually really annoying me now. <laughs> I'm like, mm. shh. Boo. Delivery truck just went by. She's like, is that for us? No, usually it is at the moment, but today it's not. So, I've done good to speak. So, I don't know if I've just done that now and then continue to paint. Or do I finish painting, wait for it to dry, sand the cupboard, do the cupboard? I don't know. Don't know what to do now. But it's gotta, it's gotta, something. Something's gotta happen there. I don't like it. Look, if it's the same color, it just kind of like disappear. Everything's still covered over, apart from the chair. Don't know why the chair's not covered over. Oh, I think we need just dust, dust sheets somewhere else. Love this color. So we actually did a, um, oh, words today. So we actually did a poll over on my Instagram story and said, okay, there's this color, there's this color, there's this color, there's this color. What do you think? What color should we go for the, for the study? You voted, you chose, we went for it. <laughs> so this is the Farron I can't remember what it's called. Skimming stone, number, I think two for one. But look, two for one. Look, it's hard to read because I've got paint all over it. But yeah, skimming stone, flower and wool, good choice, everyone. Do I get changed and paint or do I get changed and sand? That's the question. Cupboard first or finish the walls? First? I think if I finish the walls, if I finish the walls, then I'm going to feel like I finished the job and it's good. Whereas if I sand the cupboard, I'm still putting off that. Horrible line I've got to do. So I'll do the line first. There we go, decision made. I'll get changed, have a nice cup of tea, and then do the top. Well done for being an adult. Good job, Emily. <laughs> Let's get to it. So you know how I was like, I'll change and I'll paint around the room and then come back and sand? Yeah, it didn't happen. So we sanded the cupboard. We've painted the cupboard. Obviously it needs another coat. It's a second coat it's had. And then I still need to do around the edge now, but the skirting's done, the door frame's done. It's looking pretty good. And the cupboard's on its way to being done. 
So I'm going to paint around the edge. I'm finally doing it. I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to paint around the edge right now as soon as I get the stool. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got this. Whew. Okay. Okay, okay. So I painted three out of the four walls, one of which I've painted twice. Looking at it, I think it might need a third coat. But anyway, I've moved all the furniture across the other side of the room so I can do the wall behind me. That one's not done yet. I think I'm doing okay. Doesn't look too bad. So I'll do this wall and then do a second coat on all the walls. After painting, we pulled the floor up, which was actually stuck down to the concrete. Morning. So here's what we're up to with the floor. That was so hard to take off last night. It was crazy. So the plan was to take the carpet up and put the, I can't remember what it's called, self-leveling compound down afterwards. But it took so long to get the carpet up I'd say two, three hours, and it's not a huge room, but because it had been stuck to the floor, yeah, it was not fun. <laughs> it's not sugarcoat it, it was not fun. So we took all the carpet up, we vacuumed, and then we're going to put the leveling compound down this morning, and then we'll do the floor tomorrow. That's the new plan because it just took so long with the carpet. Let me show you anyway. So this is the floor now. We're still going to scrape a little bit more, take some glue up, but that's where we're up to. And we're also going to change the silver light switches and plugs as well. So we've got sockets down there that need changing. Um, for some reason, I don't quite understand why, in this house they've got silver sockets in this room. Then in some rooms they've got gold and then in some they've got white. So we just want to keep the sockets and light switches just like continuously the same throughout. So we're going to change them all to be white, like the living room, because we've changed those ones. Where have we changed the living room? Anyway, I'm going out for the day, which is great, because when I come back, the leveling compound will be done. So that's a job that I don't have to kind of worry about. Um, I am going to be the one to put the floor down tomorrow, though. So, yes, hopefully I'll be able to get it straight lined up. I don't know where to start. Where do you start with the floor? Like, do you stand at the doorway? Like, do you start on that wall there? Or do you start on this wall here? I don't know. Something I'm going to find out tomorrow when I start doing it. <laughs> Figure that out then. So I'll give you another update once the leveling compound's down. And hopefully dry when we get back as well. So we win. <laughs> Look at that. Yay, it looks so much better already. I could just paint it. <laughs> That's not the plan though, don't worry. So it looks really patchy, but the painting is all done. All around the edge. The cupboard's done. Ooh. Walls are done. Now it's time to have a cup of tea and then do the floor. So I'm just having my cup of tea. So we've got one plank, then half plank, then one plank. And I don't mean like literally half plank. I mean like I found the halfway point and put another plank down. 
So I'm going to measure that out and then I'm going to start sticking. Or maybe I stick and measure as we go. I'll probably do that. Right, enough talking about it. Let's get going. My battery died while I was finishing the floor, but not to worry, while I was charging it, I just had a hot chocolate, some Terry's chocolate orange, and I wiped the floor. That's all you missed. Well, you did miss out on Terry's chocolate orange, sorry about that. <laughs> this is what the floor looks like. Oh my goodness, I love it. I'm so pleased with it. What do you think? There are a few sections left to do here but I tried to cut them probably three times and I can't do it. I'm so tired. I'm so nearly finished, but I can't do it. Sockets are definitely going to be changed. We've changed the light switches and we're going to change the sockets as well. We have changed the light switches, but they are chunky. So we're going to change them again. We thought they were the same as the ones we purchased for the other rooms, but they're not. It's now 1am, but I really wanted to finish. Oh, I have to show you this too. Look at the handles. The cupboard had either four or five coats of paint in the end, and then we've changed the door handles over as well. It looks so much better. The windowsill needs one more coat of paint too. Oh, I'm so pleased with this room. I'm really hoping I got a before picture of this room because I'm so pleased with how it turned out. I'm gonna roll out the rug um, so I can get you down so you can see. Oh my goodness, I look so tired. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I'm not 
I'll just stand in the chair and trying to work out how to move it because it's really quite heavy. So the piano is going to go in front of where I'm putting the stool, so it will go underneath the TV and then the desk is going to go near the radiator, so just in that space there. Sorry, you can't see me, but then I also really want to show you the rug on the floor. Don't look at me, I'm tired, look at the floor. <laughs> So I've brought the desk in, but there's no way I'm going to be able to put the legs on and then flip it over all by myself because it was extremely heavy. So I'm going to leave that there for tonight or for this morning because it's this morning. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, I haven't even checked. Maybe it's half one, maybe it's two. And now I'm going to bed. Night, everyone. So I haven't gone to bed yet. I'm just sitting in the chair. No, I haven't moved because I'm so comfy. <laughs> I need to go upstairs. But I have a question for you. Did I make a mistake? Because I'm looking at the rug and I'm looking at the floor and I'm like, I think I made a mistake with the floor. I'm going to show you. So you see how it's like little bits here? Should I have done that at the other end? So you enter the room here and then you look down and then down there it looks really good because it's like a whole plank and then half a plank. But then here, you've got a few extra bits, like little bits. Should I have made those go at the other end? I'm back. So the study is done and I'm gonna give you a tour, show you what it looks like. I'm really pleased. It's a bit of a wet, bit of a, easy for me to say. It's a bit of a wet, horrible, miserable day today. So it's raining outside, it's dark. So I'll put the lights on. It's just, yeah. You should be able to see when I put the lights on. And yeah, we'll see what we've done. Okay, you ready? Who's tail? <laughs> Grand reveal. So I don't even think I need to put the spotlights on. I think you can see got the elephant light on over here. Oh, I don't even know where to start, but look. Look at this room. So I'm currently sat at the desk. This is where I sit to respond to all your lovely comments and where I'm gonna finish up editing this video. So thank you so much for watching. You've seen the transformation of the study, but for more home renovations, check out the playlist and I'll see you over there. I also have more voting going on over on my Instagram. So we're gonna vote for the color walls in one of the bedrooms next. So check that out too. I'll see you over in this playlist. Bye.